hardware in the loop in this tutorial we are going to see about hill that is a hardware in the loop this is one of the important concept that you have to learn in the automotive industry if you are working or as if you are about to work hill is one of the important concept that you have to learn so at the end of this tutorial you'll come to know why it is and what are the what is the purpose and how it works before that the elite 8 this is one of the tutorial in the elite 8 series so the agenda of this elite 8 complete playlist will be introduction on hill that is why what and how basic components and io workflow in the hill that is input and output workflow in hardware in the loop then power supply so you know it's not just like a power supply 12 volt or 48 volt so what exactly the power supply works and how the power supply because in the hill environment you will have some a kind of rps that is regulated power supply so that regulated power supply is not exactly what you are thinking in like you know uh, in our uh, basic laboratory test you use some 12 volt or 48 volt but it is not like that so we'll see in detail how this power supply works and what is the significance of using the range of supply, uh, power supply that uh, we are keeping the hill then ecus yes of course we have types of ecus so in uh, uh, inside the ecu how the controller works and how it communicates with the other components and how the hydraulic ecu works and how the structure of hydraulic ecus that will be comes under the ecu and plan simulation so how the plan simulation will be and uh, what are the information gets plan simulation gets from the ecu and what are the information is transferred to the ecu and other components like sensors actuators etc will be seen in the other component section and hill in d space how the hill in d space of course d space is one of the generic uh, you know general uh, uh, platform deliverables that they used to deliver the the vendors uh, have the worldwide vendors that is they are uh, not specific to the supplier or the oem so in d space how the configuration desk works and what is the significance of control desk what is the significance of automation desk and we'll end up with what is the significance of animation desk and finally hill with etas so these are all the 12 major co contents that we are going to see in the elite 8 series and uh, this tutorial is yes the first one so introduction on hill why what and how yes uh, without wasting more time yes you just you can just visit our site uh, eduserve.company for the free tutorials in the series sequence and also uh, there will be the paid tutorials page you can access if you are a member of a uh, paid tutorials so hardware in the loop that is hardware in the loop simulation we can tell hardware loop hardware in the loop simulation hardware in the loop simulation is a technique it's one of the technique that is used to development and testing the complex real-time embedded systems so wherever you can find the complex rts that is real-time embedded systems there you can have the hill that is hardware in the loop simulation as an added advantage so the complexity of the plant under control is included in the testing as well as the development environment by adding the mathematical representation of all its related to dynamic systems so the yes of course for all the even for example if you if you go for the kilometer per hour or uh, speed so you, you you have such kind of mathematical uh, expression to get the output speed so in those cases the hill will be the most significant way to predict with the use of hardware so that is how your hardware how your device and your test works can be done by using this uh, mathematical expression that is uh, in the hill simulation and this mathematical representation is referred as a plan simulation the embedded system to test it interacts with this plan simulation so so the overall what exactly is trying to tell is so in a simple way hill is a tech hill is a technique where a real signals from the controllers are connected to the test systems that simulates reality making the controller to work as its assembled product say for example if you are testing the braking component or if you are testing the airbag component and if you have the hill system then the the hill system will be considered as other components so that uh, the ecu will think that it is a kind of assembled product so that is what all about this hardware in the loop simulation so let's have a clear picture in this so the supplier how oem has developing the software for the braking components say abs so is it really required that uh, this component should not test in the hill environment and directly deploy in the 
car is it uh, really recommended that's what the question is after development is it recommended to validate in a real car is it valid is it recommend to validate in a real car so this would be the question but the answer is it's really no the reason is see it is a conventional method see the ecu has been programmed the program has been uh, embedded in the ecu then uh, setting ecu data by the real test so after uh, you put the ecu in the car uh, done the real test and analysis and evaluation with non real time simulation then refine ecu data by real test then again mass production so this is a four step process whereas if it is hill is present in the in the testing so what will happen or development what will happen is setting ecu data will hills with the hills so in using the hill simulation you can test the ecu after you, you can refine there then and there itself because you can have the feedback mechanism as it is a closed loop so you can have the feedback so you can refine and uh, you can directly put into the mass production so you don't want to check again because here itself you are refining the issue and you are fixing the issue so you can just after a real real time test then you can just put into the mass production so this really literally if you see the step wise it is just uh, cutting only one step but in terms of human power the uh, financial then time all has been controlled and uh, contained by using the hill so that's why hill is so costly the licensing and the hardware is so costly then why hill again so this is what the question that we have seen that after development is it recommended to validate in real car the answer is obviously no the reason is see uh, the again see here the whatever here we have seen so here we have seen in the application layer this application side but how this will work so this is a ecu and this ecu has uh, programmed with some uh, some components like uh, airbag or brake or whatever it is uh, even fast steering so once the hill as uh, as i said this is considered as assembled product so apart from this say for example if it is a airbag apart from all the apart from airbag all other uh, you know wheel speeds wheel speed sensor can be deployed here in the in the hill setup in the in the plant simulation setup so the the data used to communicate with each other so that you can ensure that data has been receiving properly or not the data has been transmitting properly or not by using the protocol you know controller like can protocol or flex ray protocol as well as you can retrieve the information using obd uds so everything you can check by only using this plant simulation so you don't you don't want really a real car to test this data rather you can just put these into this plant simulation and you can simulate and retrieve the data you can read and you can fix the issue if you find any so this is how the hill is required and this is why the hill is required this is how the sill works so in this plant simulation we have a number of components that we'll see in our upcoming tutorials and as well as you have uh, ecu also you have so many components so see this is the basic input output understanding in the hill consider any embedded system they work with real time inputs and also control device or peripherals so you know so after you, we'll just we'll get back to this hill again so before that you have to understand this input output so it is not like you know if you are developing a site if you are developing an application like facebook it is not like just giving the input and getting the output whereas in embedded systems or you know even automotive or embedded systems the real time inputs and the real time outputs will be given as well as taken from the peripherals so this is what the basic input and output understanding see in general the input comes from the sensor say for example if you are um, if you are driving with uh, with a high speed the wheel speed sensor will sensor the speed and it will it will gives to the ecu so here the input is gets from the sensor and the output device so once the wheel speed uh, wheel, wheel speed is going high and the user applied some brake then the there is a mismatch with the brake pressure and uh, the wheel speed then obviously the actuator starts to actuate for its original uh, or for its uh, exact uh, percentage of the brake so what it's to be applied so here the input is sensor and output is the actuators 
so once the sensor sends the sense senses the uh, senses some data and it transmit to the processor or controller and controller uh, gives the input or uh, just uh, to make the actuators to work so this is the basic understanding in the hill so your input will be the your input will be the raw input say for example if you are giving the acceleration the acceleration will be the physical input and for the physical input you will get the sensor like potentiometer sensor it will just senses the pedal position and it will compare the wheel speed position and uh, the sorry it will, it will pressure the wheel speed sensor that it will senses the wheel speed revolutions then it will uh, sense to the controller the controller actuates the respective components like brakes or uh, you know whatever EPD so whatever the uh, value added features it will activate say for example so we can I can say a number of examples that we'll see in our upcoming uh, LH series upcoming tutorials we'll see in the hill because we just taken every real-time scenario say for example if, you're, if the vehicle is uh, standing in a slope so it will the the gradient sensor will senses the gradient so that is the lateral sensor will uh, senses the gradient and it will apply the brake automatically to make your vehicle to hold in the hill even though if you're not applying the brake so these kind of sensors giving the input and actuators gives the output the course of action over the actuator is done based on the sensors input by the control algorithm inside the system so this is what i say so we can see here say for example if the vehicle speed if the vehicle is going in some the if the wheel speed sensor has sensors can sense the wheel speed by using some tachometric uh, principle or something so it will just senses the speed and it will sense to the uh, ecu so the ecu will uh, process it and uh, it will give the appropriate data to the dashboard to other components to other dependent components so that the data will be filtered and uh, ramped as per the output that we require so here we have abs wheel sensor here we have abs uh, reluctor ring so it it completes the, the this controller will completely collect the information and it will start to work so our complete uh, automotive domain relies on this ecu so how to program this is how to test this ECU. for testing this ECU, we have the hill sill and all so we'll see how, how what are the components inside this ecu and how exactly the the process will be so in this uh, one components in the cell so we have so many components in the hill testing so ecu that is electronic control unit or engine control unit bus simulation between ecus that is the protocols supported softwares or tools pz then there is a personal computer then plant interface battery simulation that is a power supply then io interface then auxiliary components sensors and actuators so these are all the limited uh, components that we have so many components also but these are all the basic components in any hill environment you can find these uh, basic components in any hill environment and let's see the structure of hill and in our upcoming tutorial that next tutorial we'll continue with this by explaining this hill setup how it will works so here here just a rough figure so this is a pc it's a can case and this is a can protocol there is a bios this is ECU that is device under test this is what we have to test what are the software has been made by the uh, developed by the developer has been uh, embedded here and testers has to test here then uh, using this cell setup so this is a plan simulation and uh, so this is the overall connection to the power supply and this PC can get the input from uh, can case ECU even from plan simulation it's not input so this is actually a replication that we'll see in our upcoming tutorials so this is a basic uh, hill setup so in our uh, next tutorial i'll start with this i'll completely explaining this and in a hill testing tutorial uh, there is not sorry not hill testing it's a hill simulation because development as well as come in, comes into the picture when it is developing so we'll see what are the components inside this what are the components inside this how this controller what are the pin configuration and what are the components inside this then how, how this uh, power supply is unique then some other uh, rps regulated power supply and pc what are the tools has to be installed there is a basic tools to be installed there's generic tools then if some other uh, oem or uh, supplier specific measurement device so how, how it will ensure so these are all the things that we'll see in our next tutorial 
so this is what the next tutorial that is part two yes if you want to join our uh, elite or premium tutorials i'm sorry if you if you're willing to join our premium tutorial you can just uh, send a mail to mail or you can uh, converse with our site that is edisor.company so that you can you can have a chat with us so catch you in another tutorial until then yes uh, keep learning and utilize your time